Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. It's time for another daily dose of Dismal Disney. We're gonna blame Bob Chapek for everything wrong with the company today. Everybody else has been Bob blaming Bob. Yeah, Bob Chapek has become a, uh, a punching bag, um, for sure, for the media, for Disney fans. There's a that joke picture, in there. Though. Look at his face. Like, <laughs> Sorry. It's because he's getting kicked in the nuts. He's getting kicked in the nuts. Uh, yeah, uh, Bob Chapek made a lot of uh, questionable decisions. He has made a lot of questionable decisions since taking over as CEO of the Disney company. And now uh, CNBC as of today, or yesterday rather, um, said that they, he is uh, continuing to distance himself from Bob Iger, that the Disney Plus price hike was all his idea. And that <laughs> sure he's, it was. he's not concerned. He's not concerned that they might lose subscribers because they're going to juice the ones that they have left for even more money. Yeah, because they're going to lose subscribers. I, yeah, people are oh, getting absolutely. tired of being nickel and dimed. Yeah, absolutely. And this is the, uh, the very same strategy that they use in the theme parks now. A lot of people, you know, talking about the price hikes and all that, and they're like they'd rather have fewer people paying more so the profit margins are higher and they can brag about their ARPU. You know, okay. how much money that they're they're making per subscriber, per park God, guest. If you, if you took a shot every time they say ARPU, you'd be drunk easily or dead. Well, I think I think that's the replacement for a poo in The Simpsons. ARPU. ARPU. <laughs> yeah, he's he's worth more than that's a poo. That's because they're streaming now, so yes. Well, given that they let that, so or cricket, was cricket deal lapse, ARPU is more important to them than APU. It, it is. And, you know, we talked about how they had, uh, you know, record profits and subscriber numbers. And they're supposedly, supposedly they have more subscribers than Netflix, which is not true. I don't buy that. Well, I'm it's sorry. not true anyway, just objectively. In fact, uh, other, other publications were calling it out. They said, look, uh, you could have one person subscribe to the bundle and account as three subscriptions. Mm-hmm. Well, that's what they're doing. We've yeah. been saying that. Yeah. So, you know, when you're counting every... That's shitty right there. Yeah. I mean, that'd be like having Netflix and then like a separate, oh, this is uh, Netflix cartoons and this is Netflix sports and this is Netflix documentary and you get the bundle and you're actually subscribing to like four or five different services. Look, we've quadrupled our subscribers overnight. This sounds like their counting practices that they it got does. called out for. It does, which is still ongoing, by the way. That didn't completely disappear, but we're going to... We're going to do a video of that later. We will have to do a video on that. Uh, anyway, let's talk about this situation. Uh, before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture, news, views, and rants. Guys, over 274,000. Uh, check out Crimson Wren Volume 1, the graphic novel on Indiegogo. Uh, it is, uh, well, funded. It's funded. Yay! In less than a day. So thank you for the support. Uh, hopefully we will uh, be able to get these books out to you, and they're going to be beautiful. Yeah, and if it goes past a certain amount, then that starts funding book two. That does fund book so two, So we yes. have it done before we put it on the crowdfunder for you. Yeah, we. Um, so here's how we do our crowdfunders, or how we plan to do our crowdfunders going forward is... If we can. If we can. The current crowdfunder basically bankrolls the production costs for the next crowdfunder. So if you want more clownfish books, buy this book and then we'll make more books. See, that's right. pretty easy, right? Mm -hmm. That's pretty easy. I mean, I'm 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 pretty good at this. I could I could run Disney. Anyway, <laughs> I, think, I think most people could run Disney better at this point. Anyway, let's talk about this. CNBC had an article up. Disney CEO Bob Chapek again distances himself from Bob Iger with Disney Plus pricing decision. Uh, here are the bullet points. Bob Chapek's decision to hike Disney Plus's price by $3 a month runs counter to the strategy Bob Iger That's had. That's probably why he did it. Yeah, because Bob Iger was like, we want as many people as possible, and then we'll just upsell them or whatever. Mm -hmm. And Chapek's like, no, 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 let's do it like the theme parks and just gouge. Yeah, because that's starting to work so well for them. <laughs> um, and we told people when they, they debuted Disney Plus at six ninety nine dollars mm -hmm. or whatever it was, that was not going to last. And also, a lot of people had the early bird, the bundle with the Verizon and all that. And those are going to come due here pretty soon. Yeah, they should be running out, yeah. So, um, yeah, Chapek's pricing decisions were his alone, according to people familiar with the matter. The new strategy emphasizes profitability over subscriber addition. So, good luck with that. we got to make those investors happy, yet somehow be a value for everybody else at the same time, which I still say is an oxymoron. Yeah, Disney CEO Bob Chapek keeps making decisions that distance himself from Bob Iger. As reported earlier this year, Iger hasn't agreed with several decisions Chapek has made as Disney's CEO, including his reorganization of the company and his handling 
of Florida's controversial don't say gay legislation. There oh, we had to put that in there again. Well, it came up again today because apparently uh, they're filing, they're filing to dismiss it. So the Reedy Creek lawsuit, we all know what's going to go on with that. But yeah, that's an ongoing battle that mm -hmm. uh, did not have to be fought, honestly. I mean, they could have just said, you know what, guys? We're staying out of this. We're an apolitical company. We're just going to make entertainment and that's it. But no, no, no. <laughs> we couldn't do nope, that. Nope. And now here we are. Uh, the latest break is the 38% price increase for Disney Plus. Uh, announced last week as part of a slew of announcements surrounding Disney's new advertising supported service which is going to launch on December 8th. Disney Plus without ads will increase from $7.99 to $10.99 per month. Disney Plus with ads will begin at $7.99 mm -hmm. per month. So it's basically the Disney Channel all over again. Uh, Chapex pricing strategy differs from the philosophy Iger espoused, according to people familiar with both men's thinking. Iger wanted Disney Plus to be the lowest priced major streaming offering uh, said the people who asked not to be named because they don't want to be fired. Oh, no, because the discussions were private. Because they don't want to be fired. Because they don't want to be fired. That way, customers would view Disney Plus as a stronger value proposition to its competitors. And honestly, that is the way to go. Because yeah. if you're giving if you're giving content like Marvel and Star Wars, I mean, now it's questionable content, let's be honest. But like, you have all this Disney catalog and you keep making like new shows. Like I guess uh, Disney Plus Day is going to be September 8th. And they're launching a bunch of stuff on that day, including Thor Love and Thunder is going to be put on there. And that live action Pinocchio film is going to get put I out that day. I forgot that existed. Yeah. yeah. So they're, you know, if you kept the prices, you know, down, people would keep you know, people would go there because other places keep going up. And it made sense. You're going to actually, you know, probably get more money that way. But no, no. Chapek and his, I think he's just doing it because he knew Iger would be pissed about it. Uh, yeah, I'm kind of starting to wonder if he is. What would Iger do? I'm going to do the opposite. Yeah, they should be asking themselves, what would Walt do? And they're not yeah, doing it. They never that. ask themselves. They that. never ask themselves. Uh, what would Walt do? $7.99 a month with ads. Disney Plus will now be more expensive than several other ad-supported products including Peacock, uh, Paramount Plus, and Warner Brothers Discovery. They'll probably all just start jacking their prices up too because Disney did. Yep. Um, yeah, Disney Plus without ads will still be significantly uh, below Netflix at $15.49 and HBO Max. Anyway, we launched an extraordinarily compelling price across platforms that we have for streaming. Chapek said last week, I think it was easy to say that we probably... We were probably the best value in streaming. <laughs> in your, what? No. But you know what? <sighs> You'd be the best value at one thing. Because their their park sure as hell aren't value. Yeah, well, and everything true. else they're doing us in the value, and they keep jacking the prices on everything else. Sorry. Well, this is kind of what happened with with Disney Channel too. Disney Channel when it first came out was actually relatively expensive for the time, and uh, it was kind of a luxury item. And then as time went on, and they realized people weren't going to pay extra for what was basically uh, hours and hours of Disney infomercials, um, they decided to just make it. Free. Ad, well, it wasn't free. It was rolled in your, your basic cable package, but yeah. with, with ads. And that's that's kind of what happened there. Uh, since the initial launch, we've continued to invest handsomely in our content. Uh, we believe because the increase in the investment over the past two and a half years relative to a very good price point that we have plenty of room on price value. You don't, because here's the thing. Your shows aren't doing that well. You yeah. just They just aren't. I'm sorry, they're not. And then your Marvel shows, they're you can and Star Wars too. You're seeing the decline in viewership at each launch of one of these shows. They're not doing well enough that I think that you can go make these. That you just want the, you want double dip. Let's just be honest here. You want the money of the subscribers, and then for the same price you're charging people now, you can get all the advertiser money too. Yep. That's you just want to double dip. You just want to get more money so you think you're gonna get another big fat bonus and make the investors happy. And it's all about double dipping. It's not about value for anyone. So let's stop with the bullshit and just call a spade a spade here, Bob. This is about double dipping. And he's gonna answer you personally, I'm sure. He Especially can. since you called he him can. by his first name. He can at any time. He's going to answer. He's going he's gonna to come down. I'll really talk to him about it. Be like, I really feel like I have to answer Clownfish TV because I just. Geeky demands it. They're so negative. I, I really need to set them straight. I'm not negative. I'm saying the truth. They are <laughs> double dipping because they're, they're keeping the, the ad supported tier at the same price it is currently. And then raising yeah. the note oh, yeah. without ads. And they're doing it so they get the same, because people will save the cheap option because they don't want to spend more money. So, yeah, they're double dipping because then they're going to get all the ad money, too. So it doesn't matter if people cancel. They're getting all the damn ad money, too. So it's basically like drugs, right? Okay. You make it affordable until people are addicted. And then you upcharge them. And sometimes the quality takes a hit. 
you know, but they just want their crack. They don't care how good. I was actually thinking it's more like our healthcare system. Oh yeah, or like healthcare. Where yeah. you know, yeah. it used to be that if you you had a, a test run and it was like that they wanted hundred bucks for it, the insurance company paid eighty, and then the then the hospitals got smart and they're like, okay, well we want we'll we'll charge you know one hundred and twenty to get our hundred, and then when that didn't work, they're like, okay, you pay the insurance will pay eighty, and then we'll bill you the other twenty, so we can double dip. This is true. Um, I actually had a, a procedure about 10, 15 years ago, where I asked them, I said, well, what, what's it going to cost me out of pocket? Because we had uh, the health savings account. Mm -hmm. and I had to weigh, like, do we take a health savings account or we pay for it? Do we let the insurance hit, whatever. And um, they gave me the price for the out-of-pocket expense. And it was actually uh, less than it would cost with insurance. Yeah, and if they had went to the insurance, what they would have done was they would have charged insurance, say it was $1,000. They yeah. would have charged the insurance $1,000. And when the insurance rejected it, you would have had to pay the whole $1,000. Mm. Or if the insurance paid like, you know, a hundred of it. You'd have to pay the other nine hundred. If you paid it straight out, right? It was like five hundred. It was like yeah, it was it was, it was, it was a huge that's what difference. This reminds me of this and reminds me of, of the way the medical system is in the United States. Yeah, he's just trying to double dip. I was like, wait, 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 wait. It just it did not make sense. It was like literally my my uh, copay was more than just paying it out of pocket. Yeah, and they were going to get the insurance money anyway. Um, this so what else are people blaming on Chapik? You said everybody's trying to get Chapik now. Well, they're blaming him, of course, for the uh, the quote unquote quote unquote don't say gay debacle. Again, if they had, you know, if he had just kept his uh, uh, nose out of it, yeah. um, and just said, you know what, uh, we we deal with employees from all walks of life. Well, regardless, regardless, uh, Chapek said that he doesn't think there's going to be any meaningful long term impact on our churn. That's another one. Uh, arpu and churn. If I have to hear it one more time, arpu and churn, my stomach's gonna churn and I'm gonna arpu all over you. So I, I no, I, I'm gonna tell you what's gonna happen. What's gonna happen is they're gonna jack the prices. Uh, eventually they're gonna have to merge Disney Plus and Hulu, which is gonna cut down their subscriber numbers. They can't numbers. yet. That's why they have it. Right. And I think what they're gonna do is be like, well, we're, we're making more money on fewer subscribers because at this point we're charging uh, for basic Disney Plus, we're charging fifteen to twenty dollars a month. But they're getting all the advertising. Money. But they're getting all the advertising money. So too. they claim that they're that they're going down. They're lying. Yep. They already were bragging about the, what the billions they got in advertisers already signing up. Yep. So I mean. Yeah. So we'll we'll see how this goes. I mean. The Disney difference is Disney makes more money and you get screwed. Pretty much that, and that is exactly how they do it in the parks. Well, the tiny, tiny little dick because they're not good enough to have a oh. nice one. What? <laughs> Is that why it's only a double dip? Yeah, you only get two. It's like boom, boom, then they're out. One, a two, a three. There's no three. There's no, no. three. It's just a one, a two, and then it's like, okay, and then, they, then they tell you that you got a lot of value, a lot of bang for your buck, and you're like, like, yeah, well, I did. Did you do anything? <laughs> anyway. This is why they don't call me. <laughs> Anyway, we're going to wrap this one up. Uh, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. I'm more entertained than Disney+. Plus. You, yes. <laughs> yes, you are. We'll talk later. Bye. Better than Star Wars.